Hello YouTube, so um, I'm going to talk to you about being a female SUSE player. Um, if you do not know what a SUSE phone is, it is a um, portable tuba that I guess in high school movies looks like supposedly a normal tuba. Uh, there's such thing as a concert tuba, which is a very large instrument where you sit down and it sits on your lap. Um, the second one is called a SUSE phone, which is just that, but it has been... Uh, they figured out a way to take all the piping, stretch it out, and then wrap it around the body. So it actually lies on your left shoulder, comes across, and has a really big bell right on top that sets right in front of, I'd probably say the person's forehead right in front of it. And that's basically what a sousaphone is. Um, my experience with it. I had four years, uh, actually no, three previous years, a marching band experience, of which I played the flute all three years, and I'm a part of the Southern California um, 5A band division. Um, that's a 5A, so I think it's uh, underneath 175 students, uh, but we were right along that line, so 150 to 175. And um, I think that's where we, that's, that's where the range is. Anyway, um, I'm not really sure, so don't quote me on that. And uh, our band instructor, her name is uh, Jean Christensen. Uh, she's a really great band instructor. Um, a little bit bitter, but a little bit, you know, like, um, she need it's to deal with that many high schoolers it takes a lot of discipline and she knows how to do discipline very well but in a very respectable and uh, mature manner so great lady um for my senior year which is this year actually 2014 uh we switched over to a 6-8 band division and she wanted to have a line of 10 sousaphones which is very large and so that we that way we can be a little bit more intimidating. Plus, uh, we had too many flutes. I think we had around 28 flutes, and we only had eight tubas. So she needed for two of the flutes to transfer over from the flute section to the sousaphone section. That way, there's a correct balance of sound. So, me being me, I actually switched from flute to oboe um, from marching season to concert season. So I thought, you know, I already switch. Why not um, just switch instruments anyway? So I did exactly that. I switched from, I just, uh, she told me that I'd be marching sousaphone, and I told her I'd be completely fine with that. Um, but she said to me that there was going to be a trial period. And so I said, oh, okay, that's perfectly fine. Uh, there was seven sousaphone players. Actually, no. There's eight sousas. I would have been the ninth. And I went for it. Playing the playing the music, coming from a flutist and an oboist. Um, flute, you learn how to. It's a very you know short instrument. Um, a lot of people pick it up immediately whenever they are in um, elementary school in the fifth grade, or if they're in middle school, they pick up the flute. But if you stick with it, you learn how to finger very fast, and it's constant going. And then having an oboe you learn very direct airstream. So because I played oboe and also because I offered, um, that helped me out a lot specifically with the sousaphone. So um, the music was not that difficult. Um, I was used to playing like 32nd to 64 notes, uh, 64th notes. Um, and they were putting me on like half notes. I believe the fastest was a 16th, which was very nice and um, the music was not very much of an issue or learning the fingerings was not really much of an issue either. Um, I loved my section. The issue was the weight. So it depends on the type, um, your brand, but like a Yamaha is typically between um, 45 to 50 pounds. It's a more higher up type instrument, better quality, so it is a little heavier. I was dealing with a um, kind of a higher, more better quality um, sousaphone. So mine was around 50 pounds and it sets actually right on your left shoulder where if you look right here, if you bend it, you can see this muscle and it sets on that muscle. And if anything, the closer to the neck 
where your neck curves down, the better because it sits more comfortably. It also sets more towards the center of your body, rather if it was out here you'd be leaning this way, but because it's closer to the middle you, f you sit up a little bit straighter. So I, um, I'm not sexist, I'm talking scientifically. If you look at the anatomy between a female and a male, the female has uh, muscle tissue that is a lot slimmer. Uh, male muscle tissue tends to be a lot more thick, a lot more, that's why guys can bodybuild easier than women, because they have a lot more, th they have thick muscle tissue. Um, girls are very slim. So I was the only female in the section, and I played the instrument for a total of three weeks. Um, by then, I was able to get the dots on the field, and um, if anybody here or um, watching this does not familiar with band terms, dots on the field are the coordinates of which um, from yard line to yard line, um, from tick mark to tick mark, all that good stuff, where you are placed. And typically a field show can consist of between 100 to 300 dots which make up all the shapes, all the patterns, all the stuff that you can see from the top of the bleachers looking down all the images that you're able to see. So I was able to get a total of, I believe it was uh, 20 dots, I think it was like 18 or 20 dots, um, and kind of go through those. Of course, finding the dots wasn't the issue, it was marching the instrument. I was starting to get these really weird pains specifically in, I'm a very um, tough girl, a very tough chick I guess you could say, where um, I, I suck up the pain until it goes away. If you've ever had, and I made a video when I was doing a foundation um, review about Charlie horses and I had one, if you've ever had a really, really bad Charlie horse um, in your leg, typically happens in your foot too, you stiffen up and you can't move until either you soak it in hot water or a hot pad or you just purpose, you stretch it out yourself until like, it hurts to stretch it but then it relaxes afterwards. I was actually getting those, this is very strange, where um, your neck connects up to your skull. So this, I guess, of tendons, I'm not really sure, but this area up here um, has been getting two Charlie horses on both sides, and it was hurting so much. Um, I think it was the stress from the instrument weight on my neck was causing those, and it felt like, it did not feel like a migraine, it felt like shots of pain constantly at my neck. And it would typically happen five minutes into wearing the instrument, and then five minutes, it would continue on until five minutes after I took it off when it would go away. Um, so I ended up having to quit band because she needed me to stay on the instrument, and um, it was too difficult to play. So I had to leave. Uh, there was no way out um, of switching to a different one under the circumstances. So I had to leave the band. Um, it was of my option. Nobody brought it up to me. In fact, she would have wanted me to stay. Um, so I tried just about everything in the book. Um, there is a black padding, or a um, basically like a really long strip of padding. I'd probably say it was a foot long, uh, maybe a little bit more than a foot. And it has like these wrap around um, Velcro things you can wrap around the uh, tubing, and it sets on your shoulder. That did help. I also tried. Um, let me think. I tried taking a towel, like a um, a hand towel, and I stuck it underneath there too, along with the padding. That did help, but it was not. Um, it did not work. It helped for probably. It helped take away a lot of the pain, but it was still there. Um, I also wore, I tried this out towards the end, where I wore a, a back brace, similar to the men that work in Home Depot or Lowe's would wear. It's a very thick, um, double-sided back brace, feels like a corset when you put it on, and it is towards, it sits on your hips, and it's supposed to give you support, and, um, my band instructor said that that might help. A lot of the issue is in the lower back and controlling the weight. Um, it 
did not really help. In fact, it was kind of um, irritating because it would move a lot and it doesn't matter how tight I would make it, um, it would move a lot still. It was just more of a nuisance um, than a helping mechanism. I'm sorry if you're watching this, um, but it was more of a nuisance. And so um, that's why I stopped using it. The padding definitely helped and um, I heard from a diff couple different people that uh, if I just stick with the instrument, it will get better the way it will get better. But talking to my section specifically about um, their, because these are guys, you know, um, for them, it, these are like big guys. So for them, it took them about six months to get used to the instrument, um, which is a little bit over a semester. So if I stuck with it, then I would be hurting all marching season, which is first semester entirely. And then by the time that second semester comes around, I would already be on the oboe, and there wouldn't be any reason to keep on going. So by the time that I finally get used to it, I would have to get off. Um, so for me, personally, it did not work out because it was too heavy. Um, I am not necessarily, like, the biggest of boned girls. I mean, I'm just, you know, average girl bone size. I feel like if a um, girl who has a stronger type feel to her, a lot bigger muscles, I have a lot of cushion on them or like a lot of strength behind it and basically can take a punch, then um, she can carry off with a Suba, a Susa. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's strictly a female thing. I know that a lot of the guys use the players too, um, specifically if they are... Um, this one guy that came in, he was a freshman. He was six foot one and was very slender and very cut, but he was also very slender and skinny. And he had the same issues as myself, um, except his only lasted half the time. So I'm not sure, um, from my own perspective, it might be because of um, my female, like, because my muscles are not as big. But it could also be just an all-around thing where you have to have a certain amount of weight behind you to help hold up that sousaphone. Because it weighs a third of my weight and I'm not really used to holding that. Um, thank you so much for listening. I will be uploading a video later on in the week about my experience all around in marching band for the past three years. And I guess three to four weeks that I was playing with the sousaphone. So it's about like a three years and four week um, experience behind marching band and how competitive uh, it can be also if it is a sport or not which I hear is a lot for debate. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that this video lasted so long so I'm going to cut you off in 13 minutes. Bye!